A very good morning folks, welcome back to the channel, Keith here from Command the Hoop Celtic, I hope you're all doing well this morning, before I go to work, before I tackle that call, I thought I'd come on and do a video for you, some of love the morning updates, so let's kick it off, it looks like Yasuki Itaguchi could be leaving Celtic, could be the first out the door in January, reports that his former club Gamba Osaka, which he had two spells at, are looking to get taken back. Now, Yusuke Itaguchi, my heart goes out to him. He's only played three competitive games for Celtic. Started one game, and it's just not looking good. Reset the career. And that's down to injuries, you know. He suffered really bad with injuries in the last year since we signed him. We always go back to that debut game where he started against Alawa, and he got that injury on that plastic pitch. And over pre-season, he looked pretty decent. And then he just wasn't selected for the Champions League squads as well. So, um, look, I thought it would have been part of the Magic Four that we have had. And then obviously, Karol Bashi coming in as well. So, um, I hope he goes back to Japan. Reports that he hasn't settled well in Glasgow. He kids haven't settled well in Glasgow. So, if he goes back there, it means that he gets that resurrection. Gets himself back playing well starting on a regular basis and never knowing when we get back into that Japanese squad as well. It means it opens the door up for another player to come in. I discussed last night um Leila Duty that plays for Vera Varos, the Tunisian defensive midfielder, twenty six years of age, should sell to go for this guy. His valuation is four million. I don't know if Celtic are willing to pay the five million. Reportedly that Wolfsburg are looking at him as well. And also Celtic pattern out for his signature and his contract is up in January. So let me know how you feel about Idaguchi. Obviously, this picture here you see right now. I just feel sorry for him. I really do because I've seen so much potential with this guy. He's cracking goal against Australia back in 2017. The one of the best goals I've ever seen. And I know people might say, I'll get over yourself, Keith. That's back in 2017. It's just unfortunate this happens to players where they come in and injury hits them and they don't get the football they're expected and they've made this big trip to Europe and we're expecting big things. Like look at Rio Atate. Rio Atate has been outstanding for us. Days Maeda has been outstanding. Koyogo has been brilliant and hopefully Karabashi will be brilliant as well. So um, one Japanese player out and hopefully we get a Tunisian player in. I've talked about Victor Wanyama's speculation the rumours the hints on instagram i don't know what's gonna fall from this you know i think if he does come back to celtic park it'd be just a visit to watch his former teammate play so i know a few people said one yama they love to see him back the one yama 2013 but like that's 2013 times have changed yeah he's had, he has experience he's 31 but i think it's time we need to move on from the whole one yama stuff and focus on getting younger players in you know, and we've seen what this guy can do. Off oh, Ferner Varos, he's a machine. Lay duty. So, the reports of France are saying that Celtic are battling out for the signature. So, actions speak louder than words. It's all speculation. It's all talk. As I said, I come on this and I'll, I'll chat about these players and chat about what they can bring. And let's see. Speeches all soon. Have a good Friday.